I want to thank these my subscriber for leaving this link below my last video. She knowing that I live in upstate South Carolina. Well, guys, did you know a major winter storm is coming? Yeah, for all of us in the southeast, the real southeast, from Texas to well, North Carolina, but it includes Tennessee and Kentucky. Oh, wait, but um, the, what is it, AccuWeather site? Oh, it includes a lot more. So before I get into that, let's listen to just a few minutes of this report. Another detailed discussion here on a possible historic snowstorm and even significant rain and severe weather for the south that don't get the snow here. There's a lot that's going to be concerning for a lot of viewers that are going to be dealing with this. So let's get on with the video because I am going to be covering a lot of detail here. All right. So here's a look actually at the European model for Friday morning, December 7th. Can you believe it? We're only about 48 hours out until this monster develops all right so when we look at the models here for Friday morning to Friday afternoon there is the rain there it is really going to be developing rapidly here uh, possible very impressive rainstorm developing literally the same day based on the jet stream that I'm going to be showing you here in the video all right so here's a look at Friday afternoon and evening there. Very heavy rain here. Even so, there's no red colors here. This is a different model process. So this is an inch an hour coming down over that. Maybe one to three inches of a rain rate there. That Just in case you can't see, Houston, we have a problem. But also, uh, down in the southwest, all of the south of Texas is going to be hit hard. That's pretty significant. Lots of snow developing across western Texas, Oklahoma. There are winter storm watches issued for this area as we speak. Those could become winter storm warnings by tomorrow night, I'm guaranteeing, or even sooner. We just don't know by the National Weather Service yet. But what we do know is there's already a weather alert for that area. Let's get into Saturday here. And there it is going already across Louisiana, Arkansas there, to the north there, transitioning into snow after maybe a sleet and ice there, maybe some ice sleet mixing in here. I don't think the ice will be as significant here as it could be across parts of North Carolina and South Carolina where there could be probably about a half an inch to maybe an inch of ice accumulation which could cause serious problems so throughout the day or throughout the rest of the day saturday into sunday morning here there's a system they're moving into georgia alabama mississippi the tennessee area Kentucky, including Missouri, southern most of Illinois there, seeing light to moderate snow where the pink area here is and the red indicates where all of that freezing rain, sleet are going to be mixing in. That's partly due mostly of warmer air overshooting the cooler air, okay? And when you got that uh, warmer air, it's lighter, therefore it rises. The cooler, dense air settles in those valleys, and therefore that's a perfect recipe for freezing rain in those... All right. Uh, this guy obviously doesn't know that our weather is controlled by the weather terrorists. I go to Intellicast. There's nothing you see, nothing. I see nothing but these uh, blips of what look like precipitation caused by the extremely low frequencies being shot out. But nothing. Nothing. There's nothing. Okay. Well, let's go to future. Oh. We've got little dots of precipitation all over. Now, I would think they know how to Photoshop the future satellite 
images. Um, but it does look like, well, we're now into December 6, December 6, December 6, and it goes December 6 to 9 p.m. Okay, so that's tomorrow, 9 p.m. Ah, uh, it looks like something is developing, but let's just have that run through one more time. Oh, wow, it is. Oh, dots. Oh, dots coming up north. Yep. Oh, bits, flip, what it's going here, there, and everywhere, and coming together. Yep, looks like they are generating a storm. I am so sick of this. I am so unbelievably just beaten down with all of this crap. Major storm with snow, ice, rain to slam south central United States Friday to Saturday. Old man winter will deal a swath of heavy snow, ice, rain, thunderstorms that will hit travel hard across the south central United States from Friday to Saturday with the worst of the storm likely from late Friday to Saturday afternoon. I'm going to read some of this article. And listen to how many times they say may, or it could, may, could, may, may, it may, it may, it may. Uh, and also, take note of how this storm is going to travel via our interstate, Interstate 40 in particular. Oh, in South Carolina, Interstate 81 and 85. Isn't that interesting? But we'll get to that. Storm has the potential to bring enough snow and ice to shut down travel for a time to the southern plains, to the middle part of the Mississippi Valley, and a portion of the Tennessee Valley. For many areas, this will be a long-duration storm, lasting two days in many cases. Some areas, the weight of the wet snow and ice may bring down trees and lead to regional power outages. Shipping originating from, passing through, or ending up in this swamp may be adversely affected. Areas from the northern part of the Texas Panhandle and the Oklahoma Panhandle to the southern tier of Kansas, northern Oklahoma, and southern Missouri have the best chance of a heavy snowfall on the order of three to six inches. This zone of all or mostly snow may be approximately bounded by Interstate 40, huh, and U.S. Route 54. Wow, Interstate 40. How can that be? Well, the interstate is loaded with cell phone towers and Gwen towers that emit microwave frequencies from the cell towers and extremely low frequencies from the Gwen towers and yes, they use those frequencies to create weather for us. Where little or no sleet and freezing rain mix in, there is the potential for 6 to 12 inches of snow from this single storm. Amarillo, Texas, uh, Ponca City, Oklahoma, Springfield, Missouri may end up in the zone of heaviest snowfall. Let's see what else? Northwestern Texas to central and southern Oklahoma to northern and central Arkansas are likely to fall within the icy wintry mix portion of the storm. However, parts of northwest Texas and northwestern Oklahoma are likely to transition from ice to heavy snow at the height of the storm. Further south, in areas from much of central and eastern Texas to Louisiana and southern Arkansas, rain may be heavy enough to cause urban flooding. Urban flooding. Cities that may experience enough rain for travel difficulties and flash flooding include Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, Texas, Little Rock, Texarkana and Pine Bluff, Arkansas, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, and Shreveport, Louisiana. 
some of the storms may become strong enough to produce damaging wind gusts and isolated tornadoes in addition to the flash flooding. The greatest risk of severe weather that includes the possibility of a few isolated tornadoes is over portions of central and south Texas on Friday afternoon and evening. It may be best for timeliness and safety for cross-country shipping and travel interests to seek alternate routes such as I-70, I-80, or South, I-20, or I-10, even though there will be some rain-related delays across the Deep South. Substantial amount of freezing rain, sleet, and snow is anticipated over portions of Tennessee and Kentucky, with the potential for enough slow snow to shovel and plow in the southern portions of Illinois and Indiana, drenching, <laughs> drenching rain, flooding, and locally strong thunderstorms will advance eastward south of I-40, east of Mississippi River, parts of central and western North Carolina, northwestern South Carolina, northeastern Georgia, south, southern West Virginia, and southern Virginia should be preparing for major winter storm travel difficulties and disruptions to daily activities from Saturday to Monday. Part of this area may be on the receiving end of one to three feet of snow. One to three feet of snow in South Carolina. Okay. Uh, worst of the wintry side of the storm in the southeast states is likely to focus on parts of I-81 and I-85 corridors. Power and travel may linger for days in some areas. Power outages. <sighs> After the last flakes and bits of ice occur, many of the areas set to receive snow and ice from this storm are ill-equipped to handle a small amount, let alone the amount anticipated from this storm. Yeah, I'm really, I'm very tired. You get worn out. If there are power outages here, <laughs> All of you prepare. All of you prepare. I'll link below to everything. <laughs>